16.3b Equations with Radicals, Even Roots The opposite of taking a root is to do an exponent. With even roots, we must check the answer in the original equation. These are called extraneous solutions. You'll get extraneous solutions when you have the square root equaling a negative number. Or if what's inside the square root will give you a negative 1, or in other words, i. It will be helpful to recall that a plus b quantity squared is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So in our first example here, we have a square root. So we want to raise it to that power, which means that this is going to be x squared, and we square our square root. That will give us x squared equal to when we have the same index as power, we have just what's left inside. We want to get everything on one side because we have a quadratic. So now we have x squared minus 5x minus 24 equal to 0. This will factor out as x minus 8, x plus 3 equal to 0. We set each factor equal to 0 and solve. And we'll get x equal to 8 and negative 3. So when we put those back into the original equation, let's try our 8 first. We would have 8 equal to the square root of 5 times 8 plus 24. This will give us 8 equal to 64. And the square root of 64 is 8, so that checks. Now when we check our second solution, the negative 3, we get negative 3 equal to the square root of 5 times negative 3 plus 24. Because we always assume a positive square root, then this does not work. So that means negative 3 is not a solution. And our answer is then just x equal to 8. Let's take a look at our second example. In our second example, we'll again want to raise both sides to the second power to solve. And so we get 40 minus 3x equal to square the first term, which would be 4x squared. 2 times 5 is 10, times 2 gives us 20, so we get a negative 20x. Square the last term, which would give us a positive 25. Now move everything to one side. And we have 0 equal to 4x squared minus 17x minus 15. Okay, and let's factor this. Whoops, I put my 0 in the wrong place there. There we go. This will factor out to be 4x times x. And then we're going to have negative 5 here and a positive 3 here. Set each factor equal to 0. And solve. Okay, 
and then we, so we get x is equal to negative 3 fourths and 5. Now we need to check that in our original equation. So we have the square root of 40 minus 3 times a negative 3 fourths equal to 2 times a negative 3 fourths minus 5. Okay, so we've got square root of 40 plus 9 fourths equal to, let's see, a negative 3 halves minus 5. So we have the square root, well actually I don't need, even need to go any farther. This right here gives me a negative number, so it will not be a solution. We will not, because we, again, we do not have the square root equal to the negative. So that one's no good. Let's check our 5 real quick. So we have the square root of 40 minus 3 times 5 equal to 2 times 5 minus 5. So we have 40 minus 15, which gives me 25, equal to 10 minus which would give me 5. Square root of 25 is 5, so that one checks. So that means our answer then is x equal to 5.